What is the best enduro helmet on the market? Let's go find out. Riders, riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes where you know we only talk e-bikes and today it's the gyro switchblade versus the Bell Super DH. Which is better? I have owned both. Both are great helmets, but both are different. So let's go check out which is the perfect one for you. But before we get into the comparison, if you are thinking about buying either helmet, there are links below. Yes, I do earn a small commission, but it does help the channel grow and it really is appreciated. I owned the Bell Super DH for about 12 months. I had two big crashes and I decided to retire the helmet because you know when you crash heavily, you kind of should replace your helmet. I have actually borrowed this helmet just for the video from my mate, Iago, you're a legend, thanks buddy. And uh, look, if you guys are interested, I have a long-term review if you click on the link up here or the link will be in the show notes. It will give you the full review of this helmet. Okay, so both helmets are bloody great, but they are different. Both helmets are DH rated and both helmets have MIPS. Now, maybe you don't know what MIPS is, it's relatively new, but MIPS kind of has a shell inside a shell. So when you have a crash, instead of your head taking the full trauma, your head hits the ground and then the shell inside the shell moves along the ground to take away the impact. And trust me, riders, if you're buying a helmet now in 2020, 21, definitely buy a helmet with MIPS, it really does work. First of all, pricing. They're more or less the same price, and appearance is always important to us riders. I prefer the gyro over the bell, but that's just a personal opinion. I kind of think this is kind of more plastically looking, and I don't really like these buckles here, but that's my personal opinion. Okay, so when we open the helmets up without the chin bar, I think that the gyro is a better looking helmet and the bell kind of fits like a bit of an egg on your head. It's kind of wide without the chin bar. Uh, so definitely the gyro wins for that. Weight. The bell is noticeably heavier when you're riding and it's 100 grams heavier. And a real big one for me, the chin bar. Look, we ride a lot and I'm always taking the chin bar on and off. And for me, definitely the gyro wins 100%. The bell is fiddly, and I couldn't actually do it when the helmet was on. I had to take the helmet off, and it was just a bit of a pain in the ass. So definitely wins the gyro on that one. And fit on the trail. I found the fit on the trail better with the gyro. I just felt the helmet was more snug. And, uh, and also with the bell, it was a little bit, the, the sizing was right, but it was a little bit loose, and also this, this, um, this flap here, when it got sweaty, would, would touch my forehead and I hated it. But it's not all gravy for the gyro. I ride in loads of different places. And I'd have to say, for a two or three hour ride, uh, the gyro is good, but my neck starts getting sore and you definitely do notice the extra 100 grams. And also, the Bell Super DH has loads more ventilation. So I would say for longer rides, more trail, enduro, two, three, four hour rides, the bell wins for that. And for safety, I feel safer in the gyro. I know they're both rated for DH downhilling, but the bell does just feel a little bit flimsy and plasticky. And when you have the gyro, you really feel like you're wearing a full face helmet. So definitely for safety, I feel like the gyro is better. And and when I do my shorter rides, I'm actually now using my old Troy Lee helmet because I like wearing earphones and, uh, and basically with, with the gyro, when you've got it in the half, it's really difficult to actually put the earphones in, the little buds. And also if you get a phone call, it's very difficult to press the button. I find this, a little bit overkill for the trail riding that I'm riding, and also a little bit heavy, and also a little bit annoying that I can't use my earphones. By saying that, on bigger enduro rides, I definitely enjoy this helmet over that, but not longer, you know, like an hour and a half, two hour ride, I feel so safe with this helmet. 
I'm, I'm not much of a park rat. I don't go to the bike parks that often. But when I do, I didn't feel that safe in the bell. So I used to wear my Troy Lee old school like motocross helmet. But now when I go to the mountain bike parks, I actually wear my gyro and it does make me feel safer. So really hardcore riding and park riding, I would say this is, I just feel safer, which you know that does equate to riding better sometimes. So basically riders, at the end of the day, I think both helmets are great. If you're looking for a more hardcore helmet that's really gonna protect you for downhilling, enduro riding, this is the winner, definitely. But if you're looking for a more trail oriented helmet that will protect you for enduro riding, you might not feel as safe going downhill with it, but it is, does do a good job and I have tested it. And also for the hotter climates, I would recommend the Bell Super DH. So there you have it riders. And if you are gonna buy either of these helmets, the link is below. And riders, it really means a lot to support the channel. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, it really means a lot and share it with your mates and stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time.